All right, see. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Rapchar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys are, you know the drill. Flip! Okay. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here, and you know why I'm extra excited today, right? Do you no. know why? No. I introduced to you, if you have not seen it yet, give it one second, Yondu Solsano. Oh, God. <laughs> Today, we are using the air bow, and as you guys know, some of my favorite videos to film are the ones using the air bow because we get to see the ultimate power of penetration. If you guys aren't aware, here's an example of the air bow. That was, that was, a, good, that was a good one. I think that was a terrific example. I think they need another terrific example. Here's one more example. That was even terrific or -er. <laughs> Yes, exactly. I won't give you another one because you'll think it's homework. <laughs> <laughs> but this thing is absolutely disgusting when it comes to power. It is the world's most powerful device at shooting arrows. Nothing can shoot an arrow more powerful than this right here, the Benjamin Pioneer Airbow. So what we're gonna be doing is going outside, we're gonna be taking these <laughs> <laughs> taking taking these, these beautiful arrows, going outside, slugging these guys in here. We're gonna go out there, let me explain a little bit more. So, how we're gonna be doing this episode using the air bow. Usually we test it with sodas, we test it with all types of satisfying items, and just see how powerful the air bow is. Today we're gonna be doing that, but in a very particular kind of way. Okay, because I've got honey whip. All right, <laughs> turbo force power. That's also the thing my engine's called. <laughs> It's not out of Prius. It's turbo force battery power. Part of this thing plugs in. You know nothing about power. So does your car. It's plugging in a goddamn thing. You know nothing about <laughs> power. You don't even talk about power, Parker. I know about power, all right? That's not the way I say power. Power. Yeah. Very powerful, huh? Yeah, the only powerful thing is your breath. <laughs> That is true. And also the very powerful sandwich I ate this morning. Oh. <laughs> right here, guys, I'm gonna be popping this open because what we're gonna be doing today with the airbow is we're gonna try and see how many items can be collateral in the normal weird household category. But how we're gonna be doing it is me and Parker are both gonna be guessing to try and see who can guess the best how many items this arrow is going to launch through. We're gonna be trying to get some tough targets, we're trying to get some weird targets, but we have to guess correctly. So if you see three fans up here, if Parker says one fan and it goes through two, he's wrong. That's Probably how it's all gonna be. Wrong for Parker. Oh, I was, okay. <laughs> he thought that wrong? was going somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, like no. wrong for anybody. Yeah, I could be wrong, but no, you just denied that. No, no, because if I say something, that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna pop this one open. We're gonna be doing fans first. We're gonna set the slow mo up and we're gonna guess which number of fans we think it's gonna shoot through. For one thing, I wanna do with these fans is see if I can shoot one blind shot through here and imagine it goes through all of them so quickly that it doesn't even break the fans. Okay, so like that sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah. But I'm down to see too. Like, I, I really wanna see. I, and I if that, does, that would be the first shot for fun. Like, I wanna do that. But in the second shot will be for real. And I'm gonna shoot it straight through the center. Obviously, there's the most amount of damage coming in the back here. We got the freaking engine for the fan right there is gonna have to shoot through. Damn, that V12. Yeah, that V12. That freaking, this is the same thing they used to fly that goddamn house from up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was the balloons, it was just a bunch of honey wells in the bottom. All right, so we're gonna be trying that. And that might be a lot harder to get through three. So, let's find out. Nothing's cooler than being cooled by three fans. All the air is funneling through to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have all the fans on setting to number one. That way it's like having three. This one's on three. Oh, sh I'm on nine. <laughs> I should back up where my skin flies off. <laughs> Alright, so guys, we have the first one set to speed number three. This one's set to speed number two. And this last one's set to just not on. No, no, number one. <laughs> Alright, guys, so here we go. Do you think it's gonna make it through scot free? Scot free. Scot not free. Not just free. free. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Been free. Scot free. No. <laughs> no. Let's find out. Three, two, one, Benjamin Airbo. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute! Okay, this fan lost the blade. One fan lost the blade. Blade on this one, in there. But one of them, it went completely through! <laughs> you can still use this fan. Okay, so, now we're gonna shoot it through the middle. Now's the question, Parker. Do you think it's gonna go through one fan, two fans, three fans? I think it's gonna go through uh, two. Okay, Parker's saying two. You guys comment down below. Which would you guys think for these fans? I am gonna say, I think it is going to go through two, and it is going to penetrate the third one. But it's not oh, gonna break know. the I didn't know we could just say you can be specific as you want okay. whoever is the closest all right well just just for the sake of being a little bit different i'm gonna say it's gonna go through two but not all the way like it's not it's okay. not gonna like don't get stuck gonna, somewhere like right in between yeah it's not even gonna touch the third one okay all right let's find out i'm ready i'm going for it right now three two one Okay, that one got obliterated. Wait 
a minute. It didn't even touch the second one, did it? It hit the fan blade of the second one and went oh, through it. Look at that, look at that. It's oh, it went through it. it and then... It didn't look like it did anything to the third one. It didn't do anything to the third one. All right, let's check the slow-mo out. Okay, so after looking at the slow-mo, it went through this one like nothing. Through the whole full bulk of it. Went through that one. Then went through this one as well. And it did not mess up the fan. <laughs> it went through that one and did not mess up the fan though. And... Hit the target. Hit the target. So technically, I'm right with three. Well, technically, I'm right and it didn't even touch the second one. It hit or the third it went one. through it. The question was how many can it go through? It went through three. I, oh. <laughs> it went through three fans. But, All right, guys. So that is test number one. Point on the board for your boy. Next item. All right. So we got all these fans. Let's get out of here. Let's do the next item. Well, the next target, that gun. Oh, 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 that's my own bedroom. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Hopefully there's no outdoor black light. <laughs> Damn, dude. This is the biggest water gun for the least amount of power. Damn, dude. That is That encapsulates everyone's quarantine activity. <laughs> and not for both days I missed. But we're going to be doing water guns. They're both filled up. There's going to be two water guns. I got the longest, weirdest water guns I could find. So I'm going to be aiming to go through the whole length of both of these water guns and the water inside of them. Gonna aim right down the barrel, through this piece, through this barrel, through the back in hopes. But the question is, how far do you think it's gonna make through this? What I think it's gonna happen is that, like a lot of other things, I think it's gonna go through this pretty easily. Usually when we shoot uh, the air bow through stuff like this, it usually veers off course. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's gonna go through one complete one and it's gonna it's gonna okay. veer out but it's gonna go through the first one. I think it's gonna happen is I think it's gonna go through this one and get stuck in this one but get through both. So it's gonna be two. It's gonna get through both, but I don't see the arrow getting all the way to the target. All right, so let's try it out. You guys put your comments down below. And no, I mean realistically it's the arrow, but we can shoot through this like nothing. But we're taking into account the fact that things can throw it off course. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to aim in like literally straight down the urethra. Three, two, one. Oh, dude! Oh my god. You were right! <laughs> it veered off to the left just enough to dodge the other gun. It was the water. It was the <laughs> yeah. water. Dude, this thing went through every... This is like solid plastic, guys. And it went through all of it, including the back piece. Man, dude. Okay, so point of the board for Parker. The water guts he got right, man. This would be the one you get right. He loves squirting. What? <laughs> wait, wait. What? Well, I know you love water guns. You keep telling me you like squirting people. Oh, a lot wrong with that. No, you thought there was a long wrong with that. Yep. <laughs> You're sick mind. Dude. All right, the number three we're doing, guys, and then we're gonna start getting into some more electric. Mark, I'm not the slow mo camera. I didn't, no, I did not. Yes, you did. Show, you have no show that slow mo. You so no... you know, they know it's there. See, look, it's on a tripod. It's on its legs. Yeah, but it almost fell over. You it's don't been know this. No, Where's Parker. your proof? I'm the one with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I got my proof right here in my brain. All right, I seen you almost kill this man. All right, <laughs> not time. He's been through enough. But without Parker assassinating the most important person here, right here we got the bird seeds. All right, these are bird seeds. The reason why I went with these is because this is like sand basically it's essentially sand made out of seeds i guess it's like the ocean they say 99 of the ocean semen not se seeds not see okay never mind no semen well sperm wells they say 90 percent of the ocean is sperm okay every time you swim you're fertilized Parker. okay and it's good for your skin all right <laughs> <laughs> if you guys know how sandbag works it's, you know they can stop bullets they can stop arrows sandbags are remarkably good at stopping you know projectiles because each one of these little tiny granules creates friction on whatever the object coming through is so with all of these little micro pieces causing all that friction it might not get very far at all but that's the question what do you think one two three four five is what we got up here go with four marcus four all right parker <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with five. No, because you realize four is the best answer. <laughs> I realize four is a very reasonable choice. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go with five. All right, I'm gonna say the arrow will get, and that means if this one is punctured through, it is five. So we're going well, with actually, five. Gotta make sure that these are facing the same way, otherwise not fair. Oh yeah, and I also want to try one of them too, because it's like you never try bird too quickly. Did, you, did that just come with open? It That's did bird come food. open. Probably somebody licked it like that ice cream. That's <laughs> Oh, hmm. are you really eating? Are you swallowing it? I'm swallowing it. Tastes like oatmeal, but from a bird. Like a birdie oatmeal? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Parker said four, I'm saying five. Let's do it. <laughs> that was that sick? Maybe if the eye was, like your air hose cover your eye. Yeah, that was that sick. All right, cut the first part. Mitchell tries when we're done. Let's do it. I said, the, I didn't say the same thing I said the first time. Huh? <laughs> Is it weird I'm getting heartburn from bird seeds? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's find out how many is it gonna be. Parker said four, I said five. Let's see what we got here. Three, two, one. Dude, that thing stopped it in its tracks. You were wrong and I was 
we were both wrong. <laughs> I, I, you, I, I was the first to be pointed out that I was wrong. <laughs> Most importantly, you were wrong. No, but the, the, more importantly, you were more wrong. You said five. <laughs> Dude, it only went through two of them. Bird seeds can be used for protection. God, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Dude, I'm just kidding. The next time I build my house, you know how your, you know, your wall is about this thick with drywall? I'm gonna your, line your walls, Mike. Yeah, my wall's pretty thick. <laughs> They're pretty thick with drywall. I'm gonna fill them up with just bird seeds. <laughs> <laughs> that way you get parakeets in your freaking walls. Well, yeah, that way I can feed local birds and also keep away the local crips. <laughs> <laughs> and the ones that are left, guys, I'm just gonna donate these or something. I don't know what I would do with these other two, but man, bird seats work like sandbags. That was the goal here, and it worked. <laughs> we were both wrong. But you were more wrong, so point for me. No point for you. Yeah, point for me. <laughs> All right, Parker actually was right a little bit. Okay, Parker will have half point on the screen what for the being more writer. -er, <laughs> only because he's more writer. -er. But if that was your half point, you'd be like, full point. Well, yeah, I deserve the full pointer. All right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him half a point, so that way, if anything else happens on my end that's a little bit sketchy, then <laughs> you get a half point. I get a half point. All right, we're moving on to the next two guys, which are the most difficult by far. Let's find out how this is gonna work. The next item we're gonna be doing is a toaster. All right, just your basic two. No, no, not your basic two slice toaster. What is this? The 1994. The, the, the 19. Yeah. <laughs> the 1994. No, it's impossible. It's a four slice toaster, baby. Because anything less is just stupid at this point. I mean, this thing was 14. dollars If you still have a toaster that only has two, that would've been like 12. dollars You save two bucks. It got two less. Toaster. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I just don't think it is reasonable to have a two slice toaster anymore. I mean, a lot of people have them at home, but four slice toasters are pretty cheap these days. I mean, you know, <laughs> but you know what? It's like, it's such a good deal that you can slice 12 pieces of, like, pieces, <laughs> pieces of whatever no, you what want. No, what I told I wasn't even, I wasn't even telling, telling you the truth. It's actually a 12 toaster. <laughs> oh, it's like, <laughs> oh, it, oh, it's mega toaster. Yeah, it's exclusively sold for a hometown buffet. <laughs> All right. How we're going to be doing it though, guys, we're also going to be having them on, so that way it's got to deal with these things at their full heat temperature as well. And now the question is, with all all of them on four toasters. You have to think each well, one of these. Oh, very hot, very hot already. Oh, yeah, that's how toasters work. It. Yeah, I didn't do well, that gotta, quickly. You gotta, <laughs> well, how, how how dark do you want it? Cause you gotta you gotta dust that too. I want to be as dark back. as the toaster itself. All right. So how many do you think it's going through? I think it's gonna go through all of the first one. Go through half the second one, and then. Yeah, okay, that's how we'll do this one. You pick which slot you think you'll see I, it yeah, in. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm I'm thinking. I'm gonna go with this one. This one right here. Last one. Okay. I'm gonna say it's gonna go through all three. I just did that so that way you sway your answer. Wow. <laughs> the power of persuasion. Okay. This is my own free will. This is just the power of waiting second. <laughs> Let's check it out. But Parker didn't know though, because they're all filled with English muffins. <laughs> Damn. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do that better. Damn you. Yes. <laughs> I'm abusing the English. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Walmart toasters broke from like a surge problem or something. How do you waste thirty six dollars in like in an instant? Well, that depends. Where'd you get them? Walmart. Oh, you, you just turned them on. You just plugged them in. You just <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's find out. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh dude, yes. I don't know. Oh yes. No, I was right. I was right. Oh come on, that's way I closer was right. than mine. It's very you close to all, yours. You all, all I did say all of them. Closest without going over. Closest without going. You already over. got a half point. You already got a half point. This is my half point. Okay, that right there, that's my half point. All right. So on screen, we are both now tied with 1.5 as our points. So I also my GPA <laughs> in high school. How do you have a diploma? Just what I did, Parker. <laughs> the ultimate gamer's breakfast. Mountain lightning crush in a toast. <laughs> Hashtag memeable. <laughs> Grapefruitable. That was a delicious. No meme here. <laughs> all right, guys. So the last item we are doing is a full microwave. Damn. All right. Yes. All right. There is a lot of metal, a lot of engines, a, a lot of Walmart. Wait, how, how is it this new? It's already wet and it's got this big ass key scratch in it. Because <laughs> it's, it's ADHD's world. Like he's a shovel to open it. <laughs> all right. Damn. But you guys know, you guys get a new appliance, you get a new computer, you get a new TV remote, whatever it is. Got this plastic right here. Oh, here we go. Here we you go. to pull yeah. down nice and slow and Ooh, reveal that brand that clean. new clean surface. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Do you just, you just live for this? What do you live to disrupt things? Yes. Then there's a moment of peace and where you think it's gonna be pure. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, before we shoot this, guys, if you guys have been here for a long time, there was a video where there's a bunch of stands. A lot of protective material in here. Look at how much stuff they put on here to protect this stupid plate. Now, we're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna put stretch in here. We're gonna open it up again. <laughs> 
Nothing happens to stretch. Oh, so you're bringing me back to the sauna, huh? Bring back to this tanning booth. All right, sounds good. I've been missing my trips. But what we to notice the past, these are light bulbs in there. A lot of weird shit happens. So we're gonna put those in there with them and see what kind of light show we can get. Ready? Well, that's that's too that's too short of a time. You need to like, clear that and then put in nine. Six nine. Six, six nine. You gotta put in sixty nine. I'm not seconds. no snitch. I'm not I know. No, no, I'm not saying you're a snitch. I'm saying All right, sixty nine. Six six six. Oh, six, that's, six that's, minutes. Dude, check them out. The light bulbs are lighting up in there. Microwaves will literally turn light bulbs on. Ah, so this is one of those raves I hear about. All right, so we're about to do it. Didn't even get to ask you. How far do you think it's gonna make it? All the way. All the way? Okay, maybe not all the way. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's gonna go through it, but maybe the tail end of it is not gonna go through. It's, it's gonna yeah. be like still hanging out. Yeah, for this video, guys, I picked particular items that had a lot of walls to get through. The penetrating power of this thing, you've seen it go through a cast iron skillet before. If you get things too compact, it will go through it. Well, this, it's kind of spaced out. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm gonna say it's only gonna make it halfway through. Ooh, all right. <laughs> so you don't think it's gonna come out the other side? You I think don't it's think gonna so. be just like in the microwave? Yep. All right. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Well, that was a soda that was in there. Oh my god, I was like, <laughs> what's in our microwaves? <laughs> Dude, it went clean through it. That's exactly, that's exactly what I said. That's a hair bow. For, for reference, uh, wouldn't you say this is much thicker than a car door? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that. It's that's, a lot thicker. That's really sad, actually. Yeah, it's a lot thicker than a car door. And yeah, well, the air bow went through it. So I, I think it's safe to say that. I want to one day, if given the opportunity, maybe somewhere down the line of this air bow series, I think this could collateral two car doors. I think collateral two car doors. <laughs> Well, it depends on what model. Oh, yeah, obviously, if it's a new Tesla truck, maybe not. Okay, but if it's like a local Honda Civic, boom, it's shooting like a dragon. Yeah, but you know, it's like even crazier. You're right. Shut up, Parker. <laughs> oh, I was, I, I was going to say that, you know, well, you know, yeah, what am I kidding? I was going to say I was right. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the glass to break. It didn't even break the glass, though. <laughs> there we go. I still didn't break it. There's that glass. Right for dramatic effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Check out the freaking merch in the description down below. And also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you have post notifications on. Double check, return the post notifications on if you have to, just to make sure you guys are getting every single notification. But check out this video scooter right here, which is actually the last epic video with the air bow. I shot it through freaking three gigantic, literally 10 pound gummy bears. Go check it out. It's literally insane. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Bloop.